behind us here. Get help with expenses. Health insurance doesn't cover. Visit AFLAC.com to learn more. I'm voice of the bus, Mark Johnson. That's you know, this duck. guy, there is Coach Primes here. That's a real duck. That's and, a real duck. And here is the AFLAC duck. Mr. AFLAC is out. <laughs> Buffs coming up to 27-24 uh, to 24 victory on the road against Arizona State. And uh, I told you last week this was going to happen here today. And, uh, I, you know, I, I'm, always, I'm always perfectly comfortable uh, in, in accepting the fact that Coach will overshadow me. Today I'm being overshadowed by a That's duck a as well. real duck. What do you think about that there, Prime? Huh? I don't work with real ducks when I do the AFLAC <laughs> commercials. <laughs> this is a real duck. There is Mr. Is she treating the duck like it's a trained duck? How do you train a duck? Well, apparently the hell. How do you train a duck? It's I just, just it sitting there. Right yeah, now. but how do you train a duck? I like, I, I understand a dog or right. a, even a cat, but a yeah. duck. How do you train a duck? <laughs> They've done an amazing job I'm with it. I'm asking you. Uh, positive, positive reinforcement. There you go. Yeah. So yeah. I need to give the kids on the team treats. There you go. <laughs> so I need to get offense treats, yep. and then, then they'll score more. Coach, we, we, we say when, when, I, when I train horses, you make it easy for them to do what you want and hard for them to do what they want. See, that's kind of a positive Reinforcement with Mr. Affleck there. Yeah, I don't know about yeah. that's going to work. <laughs> I am disappointed. I talked to a Shannon Scott, our engineer, last week. I said, make sure we've got very tiny headset for him to talk wow. today. But no, no, Mike, apparently Learfield didn't come through with a headset for the duck. Sam, that's a real duck. Yeah, there, buddy. That's a real, real, real duck right there. You know, and, and by the way, Mr. Affleck's in town because we're kicking off family weekend. And so he's here to help us uh, do that and celebrate uh, all that's going on. And. You know, speaking prime of, of family, I know that you, you've been part of the AFLAC family. Uh, AFLAC uh, AFLAC family. has been good to me. I'm loving yeah. AFLAC. It's not, you can not better not say nothing wrong about AFLAC <laughs> at my house. <laughs> AFLAC has been really, really good. I'm finally, you know, I got a, a – They do your thing. Yeah. He's quacking. <laughs> yeah, do your thing. He was saying AFLAC. I'm pretty sure of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you no, go. No, it's, it's AFLAC, not that not quack. Yeah, <laughs> AFLAC. <laughs> There stick you your, go. Stick your microphone up there. We'll hear him nice and loud the next time he does that. Yeah. And by the way, uh, Mr. Affleck told me he's offended by all of you eating poultry here today, right? Yeah. Not happy about that at all. But, uh, you know, Coach, y you can tell us a little bit about the, the value that uh, you think Affleck brings to helping those in a time of need when they're sick well, or injured. You know, we started this relationship when I was coaching at HBCU, and Affleck has been uh, contributing to HBCUs for over 25 years. Yeah. And that was something that I was very uh, – engaged with and I was I loved every minute of it and we have we share a lot of the same values and doing this tenuous process of my foot and having a multitude of surgeries I really started thinking wow I'm glad I'm covered I'm, sure I'm really glad I'm covered financially that I could make some of the things happen for myself um, that's why I'm a tremendous advocate for AFLAC and what they bring to the table for and closing and, and Closing that gap yeah. of what people can't cover, and I, I, I love that tremendously. But I learned it on a first-hand basis, sure. doing with my uh, illnesses. Yeah. Well, and you gave us a little inside baseball look at those commercials. See, I, I thought Mr. Affleck was there with you and, and Coach Saban doing the commercials, mm -hmm. but it, it's just you and Coach Saban, and then they put. No, the, no, no, he's yeah. there. Oh, he is. Yeah, he is yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how you would not believe how they do this stuff. Like it's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Hitting his, his line cues and everything, what he does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really yeah. good. Outstanding. Well, and by the way, you see most of you guys, you've seen out there, you get one of these little plush little toys out here. Yeah. And I was wondering. You uh, jealous? You jealous, I am. I, yeah. Jealous. You, yeah, you picked up the duck. You got to uh, start tripping. Or see, you look what happened there. Uh, did you have anything to do with the gold chain on the Aflac plush toy? I there? didn't know that was implemented. How do you like that? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. Next next, uh, uh, next move, we need sunglasses on. Uh, that's uh, coming. <laughs> So here's the thing uh, with what's going on with Aflac. They're going to be here all weekend long for the game mm -hmm. on Friday. And if no, you go. Don't even try it. Yeah, no. no. I, you know, I can tell when somebody look at you when they're coming. He's looking. No, don't he's, even try it, though. He's looking at you, Prime. Yeah, don't even try it. Wants a little piece of you. Uh, no. Aflac is going to be out on the math lawn on Friday. And so you can go on by, and there are going to be, uh, you know, opportunities for photographs, and you can test out your football skills and that kind of thing. So Aflac, there you go. Mm -hmm. Put the microphone. Look at that. Do you think he's got he got something he's got something against you right now? I don't know what's going on, but that's that's the deal. Uh, it's a great partner for the University of Colorado for Coach Prime. Obviously, we know that great partner. for a number of years, and they're doing some great work, and they can help you out as well. So check out Affleck. He's shedding right now. Look at these. Yeah, honestly, this is one of the funnest times of my 
of the year when I get to shoot the commercials because I'm with Coach Saban. Sure. And I get to just be a kid in the candy shop with, uh, to me, the greatest college football coach that ever, ever lived. Right. And I get to just bombard him with question after question after questions and until I, he gives me that look like, all right, now that's enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I look up to him that much, so I love those moments to, uh, he, on, is, on set. Is there one thing with all that he's done in this business that, that maybe you learn from him and you think, boy, that, that really altered the way I coach or the way I approach things? Do what you feel. Is that right? That's one thing. He's Don't second guess you. Okay. Do what you feel. Like yeah. If this happens and you feel that, take care of that right now because okay. it'll linger into something else. All right. He, he's given me tremendous wisdom in that aspect. Awesome. Phenomenal coach. Phenomenal coach. Oh, man, the best. Uh, do, are, are we going to uh, take Mr. Affleck back now? Let, let's hear it from Mr. Affleck, shall we? All right. Oh, no, he came off the chair. He came off the chair. And yeah, now he's oh, going to try and fly away. All right, Mr. Affleck's X thing. And, and by the way, for those of you in attendance here today, uh, after yeah. <laughs> after, afterward, Mr. Affleck will be out here, and you can take photos with uh, Mr. Affleck. After Mr. After Affleck would do really well on my lake in uh, Texas. Yeah, no yeah. doubt about it. Yeah, I like ducks on the pond. I, I did ask. Uh, I asked them. I said, uh, "You know, where is Mr. Affleck, or what 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 is a day like for him?" And they've got a spot uh, down in Georgia. Okay. And uh, he sits out in the pond apparently with uh, his buddies and yeah, does his deal. I, I had some. Uh, this is not a great story, so I, I I'll tell you though. All right. I had several Mr. Afflecks when I first moved to my property, uh -huh. um, now, but I forgot to give them like a spot in the lake where they could sure. sit up yeah. because they had to come to the edges of the lake at night to really get rest. And uh, they got the Aflacs. They got them. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. They got them. There's uh -oh. feathers everywhere. Nah, they, yeah. good. Nah, yeah. See, that's, that's not a There's feathers everywhere. Well, at least you waited to tell that to story to when he was gone. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. Yeah, nature took its course. Yeah, you know, you yeah, yeah. nature has its way. We got to... <laughs> Yeah, really well, you live on property in the country. They, they say, they, there's a lot goes on. You, there's a lot go down at night in the DMs. There is no doubt about that. Yeah. Uh, now we make kind of an odd transition to football. We got to talk some football here today. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, give, give us your postscript from uh, what went down in Tempe last weekend. Yeah, we we won. That's, yes, that's a good thing. Awesome. Yeah. You didn't seem terribly happy after the game. Uh, no, I didn't because yeah. I wasn't happy. I can, you know, I don't fake it or front yeah. it. Um, we're better than that. We're better than what we displayed, and uh, we will show that this week, prayerfully, that we're much better than that. It, that game should have never come to that conclusion. Yeah. Yeah, the way we went about it. We, we can't rely on Shador to put on his cape every during the week and be, turn into Superman and bring us back. We, we got to stop that. Yeah. Yeah. The, the slow starts, and you talked about that at the ball game. And yeah. you, said, you said, I'm unhappy with the players, the coaches, the, yeah. everybody involved at this point in time. How, how do you approach that? What, what do you do? What do you talk about? What do you <laughs> practice? I can't tell you everything we talked about. But <laughs> I bet not. <laughs> it's going to be rectified. Okay. Or it's going to be rectified. Right. One way or the other. It's going to be rectified or it's going to be rectified. <laughs> I just put it like that. You know, the one thing about your team is, though, mm -hmm. even within these challenging circumstances, you, know, you mentioned Shador. He's obviously a playmaker. You got other guys that make plays. Mata comes out and makes a play. Yeah. You get a tackle. You get a stuff. This team's got a pension for making plays. Yeah, but we need to make those plays in the first, second, third, and fourth quarter, sure. not just the last quarter. We got to come ready to play at the onset. When they blow the darn whistle, we kick off or we receive. We need to be ready right then and there. Yeah. And uh, that's from all facets, not just the players, coaches. We got to coach with the same passion in the first quarter that we do in the fourth. We gotta call it the same way in the first that we do in the fourth. We we gotta be ready to go. We just gotta be ready. Is it a from your athletic history, did you see guys is it is it a sense of urgency? Is it a being dialed it, in? It's it's complacency. Yeah. Um, complacency sets everywhere and you don't eradicate or get rid of it. It's it's gonna overtake you. So I identified it and I called it out and and, and <laughs> It's better to handle it itself or I'm going to handle it. Sure. You know, we, we sit here every week and we talk about it. it seems like a different guy every week seems to step up. Right. Javon Antonio right. gave you a great game last the, week. The kid can play. Yeah. Um, I believe in the kid. He, he's a wonderful human being. What, what, what I mean, he's a, a yes sir, no sir type guy. Just does his work, keeps his head down, and, and go to work. And I told him in halftime, get ready. Because yeah. you're getting ready to get in and you're going to make a play. I mean, that that's as that's simple as that conversation. And I saw him warming up to get loose, and, and we 
went back to him and he delivered. Um, he was ready. He didn't sulk. He didn't, you know, trip because a freshman had a great jo- uh, game the week prior. Sure. So that took his job. But he didn't. He didn't go into the shell and and play little pity old me, little poor little old me. He just was waiting for his opportunity, and now he got it back. So well, he'll be starting this week. That, that goes along with, with something I saw. You, you, your social media team released a video the other day where you were talking mm-hmm. to the team, and you were talking to them about basically taking care of business and getting upset with you and the coaching staff because you're telling them they need to take care of business. I thought that was an interesting message you had for your Yeah, guys. It, it was deeper than that. We didn't show you everything. but It was, right, <laughs> right. It was a little deeper than that, but that's the truth. Um, these guys want to be compensated like NILs and, and collectives. They want to do this. They want to do that. But you don't want to be treated like a man, but you want to get paid like a man. Yeah. I don't understand that. Yeah. And you don't want to get challenged like a man. You want manly responsibilities, but you don't want to be a man. I don't understand that whatsoever. I'm not going to tolerate that. And, and then they were getting upset with you guys for talking to them about being a man and, and living up those No, no. They are getting upset with us for yeah. holding them accountable. It's okay. Yeah, when you do this – there's, there's accountability for that. Yeah. When you do this, there's accountability for that. If you keep doing this, this is what's going to happen to you. And the little fairy tale world that they live in right now, even your kids, college students, that you're taking care of a, a tremendous amount of responsibility, that's going to be over in three to four years, right? That's right. So what's going to happen if they haven't prepared for that time? It's going to be a shock because they're not going. You're not going to bring them back in your house and let them just kick it and sit around while you're working. I don't believe in that. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe in that. I don't condone it, and uh, I'm not gonna put up with it. So I'm trying to build men right now because that thing will be over. That's what I alluded to. It'll be over in a moment, in a minute, and they got to be ready. So that kind of mindset, that kind of culture you're building there, mm-hmm. that that kind of sifts out, uh, shall we say, the chaff in the process, doesn't it? I mean, guys kind of sort themselves out because they're yeah. not willing to go along with that. Kind yeah, of mindset. yeah, because of there's a. a not just accountability, there's a standard. Sure. The standard is the standard, and I'm not, I'm not going to change. Uh, you know, God yeah. made me this way and built me this way and established me this way for a certain reason. I ain't changing. Right. I'm 56, and I'm cool with me. Yeah. I am. I just looked in the mirror before I came, and I'm cool with that. <laughs> so I'm not going to change, so somebody's going to have to change, and it ain't going to be me. The uh, the Buffalo's coming off the win, sitting at 4-2, and two, by the way. Did you see the other day uh, the, the uh, metrics people at ESPN said that the probability in their estimation before the mm-hmm. season began of being 4-2 and two was 0.2% chance for the right. Buffaloes. How about that? Vegas did that too, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love when they bet against me. Yeah. A lot of folks that, were that, doubting. That kind of turns me on, actually. <laughs> <laughs> now the Buffs get ready for Stanford coming in. A Friday night game, short week for the Buffaloes this week. you got an 8 o'clock game. Gary and I are going to hit the air at 6 p.m. We'll be out in Duane Field. Again, Mr. Affleck will be out in Math Field. Who makes these 8 o'clock games? That's the dumbest thing I ever. I know. Happened. I know. It's those fellows the over the television side. stupidest thing ever invented in life. Who wants to stay up to 8 o'clock for a darn game? You wait till we do it. What about the West Coast? Yes. I mean, the East Coast. Any, do they even care about ratings or anybody watching it? I know. Uh, you, you what are we supposed to do with – I'm sorry, I'm bidding. What are we supposed <laughs> to do with the kids all day until 8 o'clock? Yeah. Wait till we're on the road. Yeah, and what are we supposed to yeah. do all day until 8 o'clock? So what are you supposed to do in the hotel? Yep. What, what are you supposed to do all yep. day? Watching football. I, who, who's playing and, and on then, Friday? And, and then the next day <laughs> – and then the next time, if when we have a game like that on the road, we get home at 5 o'clock in the morning. Right. Yeah. yeah thank God we're not going to be in this uh, conference. Yeah, that, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> we'll be playing East of here. There'll be earlier games coming up. Uh, let's go and take a timeout. We're here at the Post Chicken and Beer. It's Buffs Prime Time presented by Aflac. More with Coach Prime after this. This is Colorado Football from Learfield. Who's coming up? Defense. Who's that? Nick Williams, your defensive oh, line I coach. You said Hank Williams. No, 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 no. Hey, uh, yeah. That boy, Hank Williams and the Affleck Duck yeah, and you. That'd right, be a heck right. of a show today. Uh, we got Nick Williams coming up, and also what? Uh, this, this could be fun. Yeah, he, he's Nick a great person. Energy. Nick is hilarious. Yes, he is. Yeah, yeah. and Jordan Dominic is going to be yeah, our player. JD, yeah. JD's good. That's one yeah. of his players. Yeah, he's playing very well right now. These guys are film and a documentary, uh, we, so we document everything. That means I keep receipts on everything. So yeah, yeah. They're around. Every day, and they do a phenomenal job. You know, when you when you walk through the, the hallways of the Champion Center, you see the signs around right now. You guys wouldn't know this. There are signs up basically saying you're being recorded right now. Right, right, because, you know, yeah, I think we were up for an award last year for the documentary right. that we shot in Jackson. They do a phenomenal job, and you're going to get to see a whole different side of uh, 
the Colorado Buffs than you even fathom and, and getting to know the kids a little closer as well as the, the coaches. It's, it's going to be a good – it's a good doc. They do a great job. Coach Prime, having having microphones and cameras around all the time. Do you, yeah, do I you, grew up like that. Do, <laughs> like do you forget about them at times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once, once – because you got to understand, family-wise, we've done two reality shows with my entire family, so my kids right. are so used to it. So they're accustomed to it. And uh, we've had – we've filmed – Football, ever since we was in high school, so Shador's right. freshman year on through, we've always had some type of show going on and some type of filming so those kids could, you know, everybody want to shine, everybody want the light, we give it to them. <laughs> right, yeah. right. You better just do your job when the light is on you. Uh, I saw this this morning, by the way. I, I don't even know if you know this. Uh, did you know that there is a significant athletic moment in your life that happened on this date in 1992? Do you remember that? I probably do. Yeah? What do you think that would be? 92? October. So October 11th. You do my... If it was October, you're talking about baseball. Uh, it, it actually, both. That's the trigger. Yeah. October baseball. Yeah. yeah. Right. Today in 1992, you became wow. the first person to play in an NFL game and a Major League Baseball game in the same day. Yeah. How yeah. did that come about? I uh, mean, the schedule, obviously. but That came about from – this is a deep story, man. Yeah. It's a painful story, but it's a great story. Like, Well, we're all family here. Yeah, so yeah, go ahead and tell us. Yeah. I, I was contracted to play for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, as August the 1st, when that came, my football contract kicked in and my baseball contract was over. Mm -hmm. So, but we had a great Braves baseball team that were going to the playoffs. So I would practice football and come down 85 <laughs> and go help my baseball team. So it was nothing. Everything was great. Yeah. So we get to the playoffs and I'm not even playing. I'm just coming in. Help, you know, pitch run, pinch hit, whatever you need me to do. I, I'm good. So I got to the playoffs, and my mother say, those two gentlemen up there talking to the game, they're talking real bad about you. I'm like, what, what are they saying? Uh -huh. That you're selfish and you're this because you're playing football and baseball? I'm like, I'm coming to help them. Like, that contract is over. But that's not what was displayed. Sure. And it kind of, you know, when your mama called you, hey, hey, hey okay, now, <laughs> yeah, all right, now, that's my mama called me. That ain't over anybody else. So I was really upset about that. Yeah. So now we're in the World, we get to the, the World Series. Yeah. And we're talking about Tim McCarver here. Yeah, that's yeah, we get to the World Series, and we're playing against David Cohn. Sure. David Cohn, baseball is very analyt analytical. So David Cohn, analytics-wise, I'm hitting like 700 off David Cohn. So you got me on the bench, so you can't help but come to me. I'm just sitting back. Yeah, you going to come to me. Yeah. Uh, you're playing today. <laughs> sure. The numbers dictate it. Yep. Yeah. And I get in. I'm playing it. I think I was three before. Is that right? Yeah, a couple stolen bases because I, I was, you know, David Cohn couldn't get me out. It was something about it. I could see the ball out of his hand really yeah. clear. Who was a great pitcher, by the way. Not a David good pitcher. David Cohn was awesome. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. So I played, I think I was three for four, a couple bags. Next, so they had to keep me in. You couldn't bench me after I'm three for four, a couple bags. And I'm, you know, like, why had he played? Yeah. You had to answer that question. So I got in the next game. I think I was two for four. <laughs> you know, <laughs> a couple more stolen bases. Right. So it just kept going, and I was just dominating. And they kept painting me in this, this, this. this somehow picture. that was selfish. Yeah, but. Before that is when it happened that I wasn't playing in the playoffs. I'm just sitting on the bench, yeah. and we playing against the Miami Dolphins. And that's Dan Marino, you know, yeah. Nat Moore, shoot, uh, all those receivers. They Great had. offense. Oh, my God. And I said, I, I got I to be there because I know we're going to get our butts kicked. And I'm sitting on the bench for nine innings. They're not going to play me. Yeah. So I said, I'm, I'm going. So Nike provided the, the plane to get me from there to there. And it was, they checked it out. I could make it to the game at 1 o'clock and get back before this game even start. I'm not playing anyway. Yeah. So I'm good. And that's how it went down. Is that right? And it's, we got our butts kicked in Pittsburgh. And uh, I know they weren't going to put me in. And they didn't put me in. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, I know they ain't going to play me. Yeah. And uh, they didn't play me. But they had that venom in them. And John Sherholz was feeding that guy. Tim McCarver. Yeah, yeah. That information. Not telling them that my contract was over. Sure. Yeah. So it was all I was looked upon by the whole country. See, that's before social media. Yeah. See, if there was social media involved, I could have told my side of the story. Yeah. But then it was no social media, so they painted you the way they wanted to paint you 
and you guys went for it. You believed it. And so there's no rebuttal at all. And yeah. No rebuttal. Yeah. And I just had to play my way out of it. And I hit my way out of it. And yes, stole my way out of it. And yes, filled it my way out of it. So. Oh, that's an int yeah. interesting moment. I recall that uh, very. I, I loved it. I loved yeah. every minute of it. I, I wanted to win so bad. I wanted to win so bad because I know if we won, I would have been the MVP, and I was going to roast them because right. they had to bring the mic to me. What? Yeah, they had to bring the mic to me. So, how do you feel? You're the MVP of the World Series. <laughs> he didn't want me to play. He didn't want. Me to <laughs> well, there, as I recall, oh. there ended up being some oh. Gatorade involved in the whole oh, thing. Oh, I was going to be also, petty. I was yeah. going to be petty. I <laughs> promise you, I was going to be petty. I, I really was. Yeah. I was I was very immature at that age of stage, and I was going to be petty and let them know That's everything they did to me. Hey, r real quick, we got a couple minutes left. Uh, yes, uh, Travis, who's been practicing, how yeah. we feel about Travis? Travis looks good. Travis, yeah. shoot, Travis is Travis, man. Yeah. It, it, God don't make too many of those. That's right. Yeah, and he's uh, he's 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 most likely going to play. Fantastic. Yeah, he's most likely. We got We got to see. We got to see how he practices tomorrow. Like the day was the day off for him. You can't just. Okay. Work and work and work. You had to, you had to take it easy today. He practiced both ways yesterday because that's who he is. Sure, um, he has a protection on his ribs, yeah. protection, and we got to see how he goes through practice tomorrow. And I promise you, he'll be in my office, beating. He'll be in my office before I get there tomorrow, uh, waiting on me, telling me how how much he wants to play. Well, well, you've kind of said with him, you got to kind of pull back in the range because he wants to he, go all the yeah. time. I mean, w would you put him on a pitch count in the game? No, 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 no. no. Travis is the kind of guy you just let him go. Is that right? You can't do that with him. He's not that kind of guy. I told, like when pro scouts come and ask me, uh, should we draft him as a receiver, a defensive player? So you got to draft him as both. Yeah. If you play him on one side, you're not going to get the best of him. Interesting. Yeah, he's a he's a grown man out there playing amongst boys. Stanford Friday night. You got a yeah. short week. I yeah. don't know how that affects things, but I, I know that uh, you're, you're a it's, big fan. It's great with a it short is? week and you're at home. You like it, okay? You don't want to be in a short week and you got to travel. Yeah. Because that's even a shorter week for you. Sure. So uh, Stanford, uh, they're going to play us tough. I mean, they're going to try to get out to a good start. They're going to try to run the darn football effectively to, um, to keep our offense on the field. You should see a different offense as well as a different defense. You should see a different approach to some things that we're trying to accomplish this week. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. And I know you don't like the 8 o'clock games, but we'll get through this. Excuse me? I said you don't like the 8 o'clock games, but I we'll, I get, don't we'll, like get, we'll get through it, though. It'll be yeah. all right. I know what we're going to do all day before that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just find Steve Harvey and watch it all day. That's my guy. There you go. There you go. Why not? Hey, thanks for being here. Thank you. Uh, it's always good to have your partner, the Aflac Duck, here. I love uh, Aflac. Let's get a win on Friday. We better. Let's hear it for Coach Pride.